You ever found yourself enjoying a good laugh at a timeless TV show and pondering its enduring charm? Enter Gimme a Break, a sitcom that graced screens in 1981, delivering laughter, surprises, and emotional moments to households nationwide. What sets this series apart and makes it a lasting symbol of the industry? Tune in and you might discover the answer. Whether you tuned in during the 80s or stumbled upon it later, give me a break, revolves around the life of a witty housekeeper, Nell, navigating a bustling household with a mix of humor and heart. The show's timeless qualities feel like an old friend always there for a good laugh or a touching moment. What's your earliest memory of this classic? Did its humor pull you in, or did a particular episode leave a lasting mark? There are plenty of amusing, surprising, and even poignant facts about Gimme a Break that might catch you off guard, so keep your eyes on the screen. Now we're eager to hear about your cherished Gimme a Break moments. Which episode had you laughing uncontrollably or moved your heart? Share your stories and experiences in the comments below, we'd love to hear from you. Prepare for a trip down memory lane filled with laughter and nostalgia. Stay tuned for more intriguing facts about Gimme a Break, and remember to share your own stories. Because, after all, the best tales come from the fans. The 1981 TV series Gimme a Break stands out as an above-average sitcom in television history. It belongs to the category of shows that focus on a housekeeper or butler, with notable examples such as Hazel, The Nanny, Mr. Belvedere, Benson, and Family Affair. Unlike the Brady Bunch, which took a sweeter approach to portraying the challenges of a step family, Give Me a Break is often overlooked, but can be considered one of the best in featuring a servant as the lead character. Nell Carter, portraying Nell Harper, played a pivotal role in the series. She showed with her skills in singing, dancing, and acting, essentially becoming the heart of the show. As the surrogate mom and housekeeper, she navigated through various cast changes, with one of the most shocking being the death of Chief Carl Kaminsky, portrayed by Dolph Sweet. In the initial seasons, he, a widower with three daughters, relied on Nell as the maternal figure. The show evolved over the years, introducing new characters like child Joey Lawrence, Jonathan Silverman, and Telma Hopkins, forming a fine ensemble with Nell. This shift became even more critical after Dolph Sweet's sudden death leaving two seasons to be completed. The addition of characters like the ditzy friend Angie, senile grandpa, and numerous guest stars, including Tom Poston, Helen Hunt, Don Rickles, Rue McClanahan, and Danny Glover, added depth and variety to the series. While Gimme a Break may not be deemed a brilliant show, it undeniably showcased Nell Carter's exceptional talents in what proved to be her primary venture in television. Viewers are encouraged to appreciate her versatile abilities and the dynamic changes the show underwent during its run. Unfortunately, she left us too early. In conclusion, the sitcom is noteworthy, offering a glimpse into the talents of Nell Carter and the dynamic changes the show underwent during its run. During its sixth season, the TV series went through a tough time as its ratings dropped. To boost viewership, the producers came up with a last-ditch plan called Parents' Weeks, turning the main character, Nell, into a dormhouse mother. They hoped this move, inspired by an NBC sitcom, would revive the show. But challenges arose, especially with Nell's foster kids, the Lawrence brothers, who didn't fit into this new idea. Nell Carter, the main star, faced personal issues like drug use, weight problems, and mood swings, causing disruptions in production. Adding to the troubles, NBC had another college-themed show, A Different World, in the works. With all these problems, NBC decided to cancel the series in the spring of 1987. This marked the end of the sitcom's journey. One notable thing about the show was Nell Carter being the only cast member in every episode, showing her dedication and flexibility amidst cast changes and other challenges. A quirky element in the series was the Kaniski family's black goldfish named Gertrude, Despite facing numerous near demises, Gertrude always made a comeback, bringing a light and somewhat surreal touch to the show. Looking back, Give Me a Break reflects the struggles of TV production, both on and off screen. Nell Carter's commitment and the amusing addition of Gertrude contribute to the show's unique legacy. As the curtains closed on the TV series, it left a lasting impression on 80s sitcoms. While not reaching the top 30, Give Me a Break secured its place as a solid hit, standing alongside popular shows like Fame, Hill Street Blues, Cheers, and Taxi. Together, they anchored NBC's original Thursday night must-see TV lineup, etching their names in TV history. The cast bid farewell at a rap party where the bitter news of cancellation cast a shadow. 
Nell Carter, the heart of the show, found herself devastated, her emotional turmoil palpable. Thelma Hopkins recounts that Nell's inconsolable state lingered for days, a poignant example of the deep connection forged during the series. Before her role in the sitcom, Thelma Hopkins, a Motown contract singer, achieved fame with the hit group Tony Orlando and Dawn. Her distinctive voice echoed on Motown hits alongside legends like The Four Tops and Marvin Gaye. A memorable shout of Shut Your Mouth and Isaac Hayes' theme from Shaft showcased her vocal prowess. Hopkins seamlessly transitioned into the show, adding depth to the ensemble cast. In its sixth season, Give Me a Break faced challenges of declining ratings. A desperate attempt to boost viewership led to the unconventional plot twist of turning Nell into a dorm house mother, inspired by another NBC sitcom. However, this move created discord with the Lawrence brothers, the foster kids, and unraveled amidst personal issues faced by Nell, including drug use and weight problems. Despite the tumultuous finale, one consistent element was Nell Carter's unwavering commitment. She remained the only cast member present in every episode, showcasing her resilience amid cast changes and production hurdles. A quirky touch to the show was Gertrude, the Kaniski family's black goldfish, whose numerous near demises added a surreal charm. Looking back, Gimme a Break reflects the challenges of TV production, both on and off screen. Nell Carter's dedication and Gertrude's whimsical presence contribute to the show's unique legacy, making it a memorable chapter in TV history. As the fifth season of the TV series progressed, a decline in ratings prompted NBC to demand a retooling of the show. With the girls now grown and the absence of Dolph Sweet, the father figure, the marriage storyline involving Laurie Hendler, and Jonathan Silverman didn't resonate with viewers. Silverman's character, introduced as a series regular, failed to connect with the audience. Howard Morton's role as Officer Simpson lost its relevance without the chief. Consequently, the focus shifted towards Nell, Addie, and Joey, relegating the girls to background characters with minimal storylines. This led to a significant cast overhaul for the sixth season, retaining only Nell Carter, Thelma Hopkins, Joey Lawrence, and John Hoyt. A notable episode, Cat Story, added a unique touch by being aired live on NBC TV on March 2, 1985. This live broadcast injected a spontaneous energy into the series, showcasing the cast's ability to perform in real time. Throughout the series' run, several spin-offs were considered, with pilot episodes produced for Nell and The Kid, The Center, and The Purse Snatcher. These attempts aimed to explore potential storylines and characters beyond the main narrative, demonstrating the producers' willingness to expand the Gimme a Break universe. The challenges continued into the sixth season, marked by declining ratings. In a bid to revive interest, producers introduced Parents' Weeks, transforming Nell into a dorm house mother. However, this move proved challenging, especially with the Lawrence brothers, the foster kids who didn't fit into the new concept. Nell Carter, facing personal issues like drug use and weight problems, added disruptions to the production. NBC's concurrent development of another college-themed show, A Different World, further complicated matters. Eventually, in the spring of 1987, NBC made the decision to cancel the series. One distinctive aspect of the show was Nell Carter's unwavering commitment as she remained the sole cast member present in every episode, showcasing her resilience amidst cast changes and production hurdles. An unusual yet charming element was the presence of Gertrude, the Kaniski family's black goldfish, whose numerous near demises added a surreal touch to the series. In retrospect, give me a break! not only faced the challenges of on-screen storytelling, but also reflected the dynamics of TV production. Nell Carter's dedication and the quirky addition of Gertrude contribute to the show's unique legacy, marking it as a memorable chapter in TV history.